Hello and welcome back to Trousers from Scratch. My name is Joost and today I will show you how to construct the fly of your pants. I need to make a confession, which is that I have forgotten to put uh, a part of lining on the pattern. These videos are based on revision 1 of the pattern, and I intend to fix this in future revisions. So, if you don't have the fly shield, this is the fly shield, then you should cut it out of lining fabric now. So, this is D, the fly piece. Just put that on your lining fabric. And then trace around it and then add one cent uh, excuse me two centimeters on this side. So trace it like that and then just move it two centimeters to there and then just trace that side. Cut out that piece and that's what we're going to need as a fly shield to construct our fly. Once you get your fly shield cut out, I want you to take your fly piece and put it with the good side down on it, like this. And then I want you to sew with just a straight stitch along this line. Go easy around the corner. When that's done, first press it flat, then flip the seam inwards and then roll the fabric so that you get like about two millimeters that the seam sits on the insides. What we've done is we flipped this inside out, the seam is on the inside now, and then on the back we've roll the fabric a bit towards the inside and then we've pressed it so that we have about two two millimeters of the trouser fabric before the lining fabric starts now this way we're sure that on the front the lining will never be visible okay i hope you're ready for what is going to be one of the most complex scenes seams in our entire project First things first, this fabric is the trouser fabric, this is the lining. The trouser fabric is cut more precisely than the lining. So ignore the lining, we're only going to care about the trouser fabric here. This is the right side of the trousers. We have the pocket there, back pocket there, the crotch there. This is the right side, good side up. That's, here's where we basted the pleat line. Got your zipper, open it. And then turn it around so that it's got the inside upwards. This side of our zippers, we're going to be stitching this with our um, zipper foot about half a centimeter inwards of this side of the zipper, which incidentally is also about half a centimeter from this side of the zipper. So if you would align this on edge, we would only have half a centimeter of seam allowance. So we need to have a bit more we need about a centimeter, so we're going to go a little bit to the inside, about three to four millimeters. And as far as the height is concerned, the zipper stops here. You also want that to be where your waistband will start. There's a one centimeter seam allowance on this side too, so this should be about one centimeter below the edge of your fabric. Just put a pin through like I'm doing it here. Don't pin it like that because you won't be able to reach the pins later on. If your zipper is too long, match it on the top and we're going to shorten it on the bottom. Okay. Now take your fly piece that we've prepared. This is the fly piece, this is the fly shield. I want you to put that with the good side down, so with the lining fabric up. Flip back the lining fabric so you can see your fly piece and align this edge with the edge of your trousers. That's how it should be. So 
see if you can get a pin in there. Same way. Try to make sure you get that pin through all layers, including the zip. You can take out the pin that was holding down the zip, so that's not being replaced. Now here's what I want you to do. Start at the top, take a pin, pin everything down, and then you can move that pin. And then you work your way to the bottom. As you pin things down, you can remove these pins that you put in earlier. Make sure to get through all layers so that your zipper and your fly piece and your fly shield and your actual trouser block are nicely tucked together. There we go. Now, what you need you to do on this side you need to flip your lining over and this is where we'll be stitching. However, to make sure it's a nice finish, you need to make that lining double before you flip it over. So that if you stitch here, it's a finished seam. So this will be the final pinning. As you put the pins in on this side, can take out the pins on the back. This line should be parallel. It should be a few millimeters from the edge of your zip. Remember what I said, this is going to be the hardest thing. So take your time. Make sure you've pinned everything precisely before you start sewing this seam. Make sure that you also catch your pocket bag, which if you did everything according to plan shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so this is going to be our zip. Then we've got our fly piece there that goes into our fly shield, which wraps around and will be caught by the same seam that will show up there and it will hold everything in place. So we're going to be stitching it from this side, I'm going to keep it nice and tight there, but our zipper foot will actually run against the zipper. And because we folded it, this fold is next to our zipper, it should automatically be nice and parallel to that fold. That is, if everything goes according to plan, which I hope it will. I've got my zipper foot in my machine, I've got it aligned nice and snugly against the zipper there, I'm making sure to catch in the fabric. I'm going to start with the back tag. And make my way to remove the pins that go along yet keep the fabric in place. We're fixing so many things with one single seam here. Okay, so on the back here where our magnificent catch-all seam is. Iron it down, press it so that it looks all pretty 